I wanted to give a little shout out to this product uh, that I've used a few times and, and thought it's really awesome. So it's a Gorilla Waterproof it's called Patch and Seal Tape made by the Gorilla brand. You know, they make the Gorilla glue and I think some duct tape and everything. Found it at the hardware store next to the, the duct tape and painter's tape. But it's got a uh, really nice thick adhesive on it. I'd say that layer of adhesive is like a sixteenth of an inch. So when you go do to put it on something, you, you know, you squash it down. It's like, bloop, really gets a good seal all the way around it. And uh, I had put it on to patch up my tent in a few places because especially as, as uh, the tent sits out in, in the sun and everything beating on it, it's, it starts to get a little more brittle and, and rip and tear a little bit easier. So that's helped keep the water out and, and extend the use of that tent. And also on uh, the shower bag here, just put a little, had a little tear in through here because when you fill it up, you hold it by this fill spout as you're pouring the water into there. So that creates a tent spot right there where it's just prone to tear. Uh, it lasts a long time. This, this bag I've been going for over a year now using uh, just about every single day. So uh, being able to extend the life of that is great. You know, I, I uh, did in a past video about these advanced elements bags. You know, they're the only brand I've tested that, that wasn't a total failure really quickly. Uh, got it to last a year. And I think uh, these bags and the three gallon were around the $35 mark, something like that. So by being able to put a, a 20 cent strip on there, even you no, know, it's probably not permanent fix, but if it, if it allows me to get another month of usage out of this for 20 cents, I mean, I more than got my money's worth. Because I think, yeah, 10 linear feet in a roll. So it's not a real big roll, but it's four inches wide. And uh, that's okay, though. You, you don't need a ton of this stuff because it's got limited use cases. You know, you don't need to keep an entire stockpile of it. I uh, Just a roll or two helps. I, I've used it for a few things, and just last time I was at the store, I, I liked it so much, I figured I'd just grab a, another roll to have for backup. Because I think as we're going into higher inflationary times, I know everybody's excited right now about the, the way the election turned out, but I did explain in my couple of inflation videos a few months back that it doesn't matter who won the election because it's not really government policy that can change the fact that it's our currency itself which is rotten. So there is no monetary or fiscal policy that can be put in that's going to fix the fact that that currency is bad. Um, uh, sure, uh, d different policies put in can either exacerbate a problem or help to slow the rate of inflation, but regardless, it's still going to grow. And I think a lot of people are getting too excited, like like it's it's the economy is going to immediately benefit, but that's not the way it works. You know, the economy is not a light switch that you can just flip one direction or the other. Policies, once they get implemented, take take a long time, decades usually. Uh, a, a lot of the issues that we're dealing with now were not just from the past year or even four years it's from decades past things implemented then that are now really coming home to roost so a lot of the policies that will be implemented here in the near future i think you'll see the most benefit from them 10 20 years from now and that's great we should be focusing on, on improving conditions for the future but between now and then a lot of things can happen, and, and I think uh, very high inflationary times will be one of those. So it's up to us to start adapting now. It's not worth 
waiting until you're all ready in dire straits to take action. That's that's not the time. Uh, it, it's better to recognize now that prices are just going to keep rising and start taking actions now to prepare for that. If that means we can extend the life of things, repurpose stuff, whatever, you know, I, I don't need to list off all the things you can do. There's a thousand things you can think of to, to just extend the life of your stuff, patch up your clothing, all, all that kind of thing. And, and just be ready for that. It, it really blew my mind. I, I watched this video from a channel I watch and she doesn't talk about any of the stuff like I do. She does book reviews of uh, mainly the genres that I like to read so so I'll generally check her stuff out but she did a video recently where she lost her job at work okay so they came in one day on a Friday and and at lunch their whole department was pulled into the office and let them know that the department was closing down and they were all let go as of that point and, and sent them home for the weekend it's funny how they always fire you on a Friday but it was it was a big deal for her because she's she's kind of a normie, you know, what do you sheep, whatever you want to call it, that uh, doesn't pay attention to the sort of things going on in the world other than her own entertainment and, and things like that. But it was a big wake up call losing her job and, and that income, which she relied on. So she started talking about some of the changes she was going to make to save money. And this, this, this was a, the part that really blew my mind. I did not realize how much disposable income people put towards such frivolous things. Like she was talking about her subscription services, you know, the, the Netflix and, and all those. She, she listed off a whole bunch of them I never even heard of. Tons of these. And she said they totaled over $400 a month. And I was just like, in shock because for me, I own my property outright with no mortgage and have no utilities. So for me, I could actually live each month for less money than that. Uh, sure, I spend more than that now because I can and, and uh, there's projects I'm spending money on to, to make progress. But if if I needed to, I could tighten up my belt, belt and, and live for under $400 a month. And to see she, she spent that money on subscription services was, was just crazy to me. I mean, my only entertainment I pay for monthly is my phone bill. I, I think my visible is $30 a month, and, and that's all I pay for. Um, and also... She gets uh, the, uh, you know, where they like deliver fast food to your house. I think DoorDash or something like that. She says she generally gets that 10 or 12 times a week, which again was mind blowing because I don't think I've ever even had a pizza delivered to my house. Um, I was always just, if I want something, I'll go out and get it and bring it home. You know, I wasn't going to pay somebody to come drive it to me. So to see that there are people getting that more than once a day. <laughs> wow. So I'm sure we can all look at our lives and find little expenses we can cut out there. But yeah, it's it's prices are going to increase and it's up to us to, to take action. Yeah, there are some positive things I hear the incoming administration talking about that, that uh, I think can help things out a little, but there's also some negative things, uh, like them talking about instituting instituting a lot more in tariffs. I'm thinking about making a video just about that subject because I, I really think conservatives are being sold a big lie on the, the tariff thing. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that Gorilla Waterproof tape. I think it's pretty good stuff. Maybe you find a use for it, too. Um, yeah, it's not perfect for everything, but even it says you can put it on your leaky roof or something. I would probably, if there was a leak in my roof, try to find a more permanent solution for it. But if we were in really hard times and there was no access to 
to the hardware store materials. And yeah, absolutely, I put something like that on there. I found it works best. It says it can be applied on wet surfaces, but I had tried on, on uh, one of the tent rips while it was still a little damp, and it, it didn't do quite as well. So I found waiting until it's dried off totally, let it dry, put that stuff on there, and the black part of it, let that sit in the sun. And I think the sun hitting that kind of warms it up, and it kind of makes that, that uh, gray adhesive on the inside kind of become really permanently bonded to whatever surface you put it on.